Hello and welcome back to another beer review and in this beer review we're off to Surrey. Well, I think it's Surrey anyway. <laughs> we're off to the Hogsback Brewery and we have a bottle of the Hop Garden Gold. Super smashing great boys and girls. I do like their labels, Hogsback. Um, there's a backside. There's the backside of the Hogsback. <laughs> there you go. We'll start to read it. It's 4.4. Uh, golden Oppy, ho, Golden Hoppy, not Oppy, Golden Hoppy, English Pale Ale. Um, on the back it says, a light and very refreshing gold now named after the many hop gardens that you, that used to be found in the fields surrounding the brewery and throughout the Farnham Valley. That is sorry, Nick Farnham. Murder me in the comments if I've got my job for you on. Crafted with a fine blend of best English malted barley and fresh local Fuggles hops from one of uh, the last hop farms in the area. Hop Garden Gold is a perfect balance of aroma and bitterness with a slight hint of fruit and sweetness. Uh, brewed at Hogsback Brewery, Tongham, or Guildford, yeah. A bit of a nerd when it comes to postcodes. I've never been a postman, but it says GU10, that means Guildford. Does that mean Surrey? Certainly does, boys and girls. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> anyway, anybody knows about the Hogspack Brewery? They have been on TV a couple of times. I think they were on Countryside um, thing program once, and I think they were on another one through the week on BBC One as well. Can't remember the name of the program. I watched both, and yeah, very traditional English brewer. Um, big fan of their tea. I thought the tea beer, traditional English style, was was a cracker. weren't too keen on their chocolate one though. I did a chop. That's going back now. I did a, a chocolate infused beer, which was a bit didn't do 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 that for me anyway. So there you go. Hogs back, nice crown. Let's see what we get. I'll just get the. Tash out of the way. <laughs> yeah, a slight hint of spiciness, only a slight. I would say a little bit of caramel there, but not much. Not much there, boys and girls. Let's whack her in. So she's come out very, yeah, I would say gold. Slightly off gold, rust, rustic gold maybe, a slight rustic goldness about that, as you can see. It's kind of like a steady, steady flow of carbonation, very clear looking. Slight hint of spiciness, a little bit of caramel, slight hint of caramel. Um, Maybe figs as well. Figs comes to mind. I'm going to go in. So cheers. Very much a caramel type of toffee taste to this. Um... Quite dry on the back end as well. It's actually rather sessionable. Actually, it's very sessionable. <laughs> um, again, it's just got. A, I've just done another traditional type of English beer. They're just so sessionable for me. Um, you know, going about these craft beers, which are all over the place at the moment in their fancy cans and that, but. Sometimes, you know, a traditional English brewer comes up with just great, great beer, you know. It's, 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 you know, nothing fancy, you know, nothing elitist, should I say, um, in, their, in their approach and in their style and whatever. And that's what I really, really like. Um, you know, back to basics type of thing, you know. Um, I'm going off on one at the moment. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm going again.
to help the Tays to get the car on. So maybe a sighting of nutmeg there as well. Totally a spiciness. Back end. There's hardly any bitterness in this. Just feels like a very natural beer. It, it doesn't feel hopped up to the hill. It doesn't feel, you know, it doesn't feel like it's kind of like blowing you with all these hops and stuff. It just feels like a very natural type of beer. It feels drinkable, natural, subtle notes, traditional is the word. Traditional, I got to the word at the end. I went through all that to get to that word. Traditional, it feels traditional. It's not changing much as I go on. There's a slight hint of spice, it's getting more pronounced, but there's not much else which is changing as I drink it. Um, this is a nice beer. I mean, hogs back for me, they don't do really crap beers. Like I said, I did the chocolate one, which I weren't keen on, but lots of people liked it. And um, for me, it's still, you know, they're still a great brewer. And this is another great beer by, by them. And I highly, highly recommend everybody out there to give it a go because it's an honest, honest beer. But on that score, boys and girls, hogs back, brewery, Hot Garden Gold, highly, highly recommend that. Traditional stuff, which is great. See you on my next one.